Welcome to the final cut, my friends. We're going to dive right into today's review. Up on the chopping block is Born Legacy, the fourth film in the Born franchise. Although the franchise that is based off of the guy's name, Jason Bourne, Jason Bourne really isn't in this at all, except for a number of honorable mentions, as well as a picture on a computer screen. Now this time around we get Aaron Cross, played by Jeremy Renner. And Aaron is a number of, one of many soldiers who have been part of this program that was, Jason Bourne was in, okay, the co company that was running the Jason Bourne program, uh, the program that Jason was in, well, they went ahead and they made a few others, and one of them was Aaron Cross. Well, when the since the events of the first three films have come to a head, that company has decided to cut its losses, so to speak. And Aaron Cross doesn't exactly want to be cut, because from this program, you are literally cut when they decide not wanting you anymore. And so we spend most of the movie seeing him trying to survive, get away from the bad guys. Along the way, he picks up the doctor, Marta Shearing, who is played by Rachel Weiss, and she helps him along to try to survive and get away from the bad guys and get the answers he needs about the program because she's got a price on her head as well. Folks, this movie... <clears throat> You know, it, it, it's the fourth one in a franchise, which are always hard anyway, and especially after the first three with Matt Damon's character being uh, so iconic and, and powerful that it, it's hard to live up to those trilogies. So they didn't try to be another Jason Bourne film. It tried to be on its own. The problem is they kept bringing up Jason Bourne. I mean, if you want a fourth film to stand on its own or you want to start another chapter in this franchise with a new character... For me, quit trying to bring up the old guy. You don't need to tie it to it so much, okay? We get the idea and the concept without you having to constantly remind us that, oh, Jason Bourne is around, or Jason Bourne's still alive, or just and that. You know, don't do that, okay? Because it kind of takes a little bit away, the attention away from this, because it sparks the memories of the other film, and we really don't want that. You want this film to kind of stand on its own, because Jeremy Renner is starting a new character, and like I said, we're starting anew, if you will, with the Bourne franchise. Franchise. Now, I did like Jeremy Renner's Aaron Cross. He brought some badass fight scenes, and he does do a few cool MacGyver shit things, although I would have liked to see a few more from Aaron Cross. The fight, hand-to-hand -hand fighting he does in that is pretty well done, and I really liked uh, the way those were shot. We didn't get too much shaky cam, so you could kind of tell what was going on, although it was not as far back as I would have liked, so some scenes were a little bit hard to tell what was going on, but at least uh, you didn't have as nearly Michael Bay shaky cam going on as we've seen in other action films, okay? Rachel Weiss's doctor character, you know, her and Jeremy Renner really played off each other well. Unfortunately, they weren't given the best dialogue. Some of the... You know, spots in this uh, screenplay really seemed like they were stretched out a little bit longer than they had to be. Uh, you know, a little extra uh, exposition, if you will, just uh, that they didn't really need. They, they could have summed things up in a few sentences. Instead, they have a very long conversation about certain items and end up kind of repeating themselves a little bit, as I do sometimes as well. So, you know, parts of the screenplay were a little bit weak. Also, was we kind of like, it's like they had this concept and things were going really well for most of the film, but then near the end it kind of not fell apart, but just got really kind of weak. And the last chunk of it just ends in this really big long chase scene, which as cool as it did kind of look, uh, I was hoping for something more. The way they set all these events up, and they even bring in this new character uh, that you would think would be fighting Jeremy Renner in the final battle sort of thing, and they build him up, but... The events that happen near the very end just kind of are there, you know, you're, you're almost like, okay, are we getting to some point? You know, so that kind of took away a little bit from it. Don't get me wrong, the action scenes itself were great, but as far as moving the story along and everything, it seemed like at parts they were just padding things out. And the ending uh, definitely leaves it to where you imagine they are going to be extending the franchise. So, And I do believe a second film has been greenlit, or a fifth film, if you will, for this uh, series of movies. Now, uh, everybody else does a great performance as well. you got Edward Norton in here. Does great as the guy who has to chase uh, down, track down Aaron Cross and try to cover things up from the events of the first film best he can. I loved Edward Norton's uh, performance in this. And you even get some Stacey Keach and Scott Glenn in their appearances. So all of those were really great. I just, the film seemed to be lacking a little bit of something. I don't know if it's heart or what, but... 
it just didn't quite get me to the level of excitement I was hoping it would. Uh, but on the whole, it's just an action film. It's all right. I gave it three stubs, okay? Still a lot of fun, but as part of the franchise, it was a little weak. It seemed like they had a great concept, but didn't quite feel how they could finish it out. But it's worth your time uh, for a matinee, especially if you like Jeremy Renner, because he does do some pretty kick-ass things. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuck.